Tonight, the owners of a Marathon gas station in East Knoxville, that's now a Greyhound bus stop, says they're fed up. Greyhound recently sold their indoor station and moved their bus stop to an outdoor gas station. And now the owners of that gas station say they've ended their agreement with Greyhound. Buses won't be able to pick up or drop off at that site starting this October. Tennis reporter of an Simlot explains why. For three days, this is Ruth Cruz's home. It's not very fun at all. She's waiting for a Greyhound bus to get her to Athens, but this stop isn't what she was expecting. At other Greyhound bus stops, you can sit down, uh, you, can, you may watch TV, you can get um, a soda, bottle of water. But usually here, they end up just sitting on this curb. It's not safe. This isn't the best part of town. And not ideal for someone with an overnight layover. There was actually a girl and a child left here from 12 o'clock midnight one night till 12 o'clock midnight the next night. The inside of the gas station closes at 9 o'clock at night. Well, they leave them here stranded with nothing. Trisha Harshaw manages the Marathon gas station. She says Greyhound added porta potties for their bus riders, but they locked them up at night. That leaves people to use the bathroom between these trucks. They have nowhere to go to the bathroom here. Trisha's boss, the owner, says Greyhound pays him $500 a month to use his property. He says that's not worth it anymore. The gas station ended its deal with the bus company. The owner says Greyhound will have to find another station by October. Ruth's wish list for a bus stop? The one that's more decent and would have bathrooms and sinks facility for people. The basics. Reporting from Knoxville, I'm Vinay Simlot. Now we reached out to Greyhound to give them an opportunity to respond. So far, we haven't heard back.